Hey guys, it's Chelsea here at Lala Farm. Um, today I'm gonna be making tater tot breakfast casserole for dinner. Um, so let's get our aprons on and start cooking. Before we get started, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So to start, I like to go ahead and get the tater tots cooked since those take the longest amount of time to cook. Um, we just have store-bought tater tots and I'm going to pour them into a greased um, casserole dish. Um, now I'm using a bigger casserole dish than I normally would because instead of feeding five people, we're now feeding seven people. And we're just gonna flatten these out until they fill the bottom of the casserole dish in a single layer. Now we have two bags. I wasn't sure if I needed one or two. And this is just a 32 ounce bag. Baby, please stop. Mm, help you. That looks like it's enough to me. We'll get some nice egg at the bottom of that. And instead of opening a whole other bag of tater tots just to fill a couple gaps, I think we'll make that work. And we're just gonna put this in the oven for at 425 for 20 minutes. After we have the tater tots cooking in the oven, I just like to get everything else prepped. So I'm gonna start by chopping my vegetables and then we'll work on cutting the bacon and then cooking everything. So the green onions, I just like to slice those up. We're just going to set this aside in a bowl to add later to our egg mixture. Next, I'm going to slice up the bacon. Now, you can do this and cook them in strips and then crumble them later. But for me, it's easier for me to just go ahead and chop it and cook it already the size that I want it. So we're going to just slice up the bacon into little pieces. Now that we've got the bacon chopped, we're gonna go ahead and cook it. I've got the heat on my skillet set to medium. Um, and we're doing both bacon and sausage in our breakfast casserole. You could do one or the other, but I prefer the flavor of both. So we're going to let the bacon do its thing until it gets crispy and we'll cook the sausage next. Okay, the bacon is cooked crispy enough to our liking, so I'm just going to get it out of the pan and onto a paper towel lined plate. And I already have the heat off, so we don't have any accidents, any fires. Lala would kill us if we set fire to our kitchen. Maybe she wouldn't kill us, she'd just maim us a little. And the bacon grease that's left over, I'm just going to set aside in a bowl. You can use that in the future if you're if you enjoy saving bacon grease we're just gonna let it cool madeline's gonna help us out with the sausage so let me start the heat again we're gonna put that on low to medium can you open it with this knife yeah Do you want me to open it? Open it? Yep. And just crumble it up into the pan. Okay. That's good. You can just push it out. 
That good, Mama? Yep. I know that pork sausage is sticky. Yeah, it is. Careful. If it's in the pan already, you don't have to pick it up again. Because okay. I don't want you to burn yourself. You'll just cut it with the... Yeah, we'll get it with the spatula. If you're hearing a lot of other children noises in the background, parenting doesn't stop just because you're cooking. The kids are trying to entertain themselves with tractors. That's the boys' favorite toys to play with, are tractors. Okay, that's a lot of sausage. That's a lot of sausage. Okay, I'll eat the stuff you got put in there. Thank you very much. Please wash your hands. For the sausage, we're just using a mild pork sausage. I turned the heat back up on the sausage to about a uh, low medium. In the meantime, while the sausage is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start cracking eggs. And because we're doing such a large portion, we're gonna use a full dozen eggs. And Madeline, being my helper today, she's gonna start cracking those for us. Where do you crack them? Please, can you crack them into this green bowl here? Yes, sir. And these are Lala Farm eggs. These eggs are fresh, right out of the chicken coop in the back. Hold on, let's get a look at the colors. I don't know if anybody's seen us cook with our Lala Farm eggs, but these are all of the fun different colors that our chickens lay. We even have a green one in here. Spotted one. Spotted one too. And if anybody has eaten fresh eggs like this, not from the grocery store, you really notice a flavor difference and a color difference in the egg yolk. It's so much richer and more vibrant in color. Get it? All right. And you can really taste a difference. I am not the best egg, like, smasher, I guess. That one was a misfire. <laughs> I'm new at this cooking thing. Ooh, that one was a good one. Cooked. Um, Rick oh, helped me out and took the tater tots out of the oven. The 20 minute timer went, went off. So we're just going to do the same thing with the sausage that we did with the bacon and put it onto a paper towel lined plate. And again, the heat is off. Put the rest of that sausage grease in with the bacon grease and let it cool. We don't have anything else to use this grease for in this recipe, so we're just going to let it cool off and throw it away, as sacrilegious as that may be to some. Stop touching the eggs. No. Into the eggs, we are going to mix all of our ingredients. I'm going to start with a cup of whole milk. I poured in the one cup of um, whole milk. You can use heavy cream or half and half or skim milk or any, any milk or cream that you'd like. And we're just gonna whisk, whisk that until all of the eggs are combined with the milk. Sure, salt. We're adding salt and pepper just to your taste. I like a lot of pepper. Hey! 
And because of the sausage and the bacon, adding a lot of salt is not really necessary since the salt and the bacon and the sausage are going to flavor it. Then we're going to add in our green onions. And for me, I just used four green onions. And to uh, try to avoid um, scrambling the eggs as much as possible before we get it into the hot um, casserole dish, we're going to slowly add in the bacon and the sausage. Would you like more? Yes. Can you add the all of the sausage and then we're going to reserve some of the bacon to crumble on top um, after the casserole dish is done. So we're going to add in all of the sausage and most of the bacon. We're going to save some of the bacon for, yes, for a topping. Are you putting the sausage in? I thought you wanted me to. Oh, right now? Okay, sorry. Okay. No, 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 in the eggs, honey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, just here, use this much. Yeah, I was about to say, my hands are getting hot. Okay. Bacon is next. That might not be quite enough for topping, but hey, that's topping. The final ingredient in our egg mixture is going to be cheese. Um, we use sharp cheddar cheese because Lala is allergic to any cheese that's not a hard cheese. So we're, we use sharp cheddar. Any cheese that you enjoy, go ahead and add that in there. So we're going to put several handfuls and we're going to save the rest for the topping. So it'll have a nice cheese crust. Okay. All right, next we're going to pour it into the tater tots. After I poured it in, I just spread everything out evenly on top of the tater tots. more cheese and we're going to put it back in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes until your egg gets cooked all the way through and it's hard and I'm going to cook it at 350 degrees. Remember, your casserole dish just, just came out of the oven from cooking the tater tots, so your casserole dish is really hot. I was being, I lost my mind a second ago when I touched it, so just be careful. Maddie, can you please open the oven? Yeah, we're gonna adjust that temperature down to 350. And we're gonna set our timer for 35 minutes and after that amount of time if the egg isn't done all the way then we'll cook it for a little longer 35 minutes later 10, 10 9, 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay we're just going to check to make sure that the eggs are totally done cooking, that they're not wiggly and raw in there still. I would say this looks done. Ooh, boy. Look at that right there. 
Mm -hmm. Madeline's gonna put the mm -hmm. toppings on. We're just gonna. I chopped up one more sprig of. I chopped up one more sprig of green onions while the casserole was cooking in the oven, and we mixed it with the bacon. So we're just gonna put that on top now as a topping. like enough toppings to you it's because while this casserole was cooking everybody was snacking on the bacon pieces that were left over but so now that dinner's ready we're gonna call everybody together we're gonna cut into this bad boy and we're gonna chow down thanks for watching our cooking video if you decide to try this recipe let us know how it goes in the comments or have any questions about um, quantities since we were making a larger batch let us know in the comments like I said before in the last video Rick and Big Rick love reading the comments and responding to your comments also hit the subscribe button and ring the